good afternoon and everyone i will present our experiences on femur lengthening over an age so here is a young female she has a recurvatum and shortening in her left lower limb we did the deformity correction distally and the proximal lengthening using an elizaro but the fixator had to be kept for more than 9 months another case similar but she has a procurvatum we did it using an elizaro but she had to bear the fixator for more than a year 380 days here is a young farmer he had a infected non union of the right femur we used an lrs to lengthen him proximally and then unite the non union distally and the fixator was removed only after 11 months so the point i'm trying to make is that although the x fix is an excellent means to lengthen it takes up a lot of time and becomes cumbersome for the patient paley and hersenberg in the landmark 1997 article published their own method of femur lengthening over an intramedullary nail we published our early reports in the igo in 2008 concluding that limb lengthening over a nail it decreases the duration it protects against re fracture and also facilitates for early rom now how is this procedure different from a standard trauma nailing firstly we require good quality full length x rays then we require a large diameter of the c arm so as to get a good quality intraoperative ap and lateral views and finally we require some specialized instruments like the rigid trimmers the straight nails the polar screws and an angled entry jig now in this series we studied 42 femurs of various etiologies here is one such case he is a young chartered accountant who had a proximal facial growth arrest in the femur leading to a shortening we lengthened him over an humerus nail and the fixator was removed in just 59 days another case a teenage obese girl she had a valgus and shortening in her left lower limb we did the distal entry femoral nail here shifted the distal fragment laterally so as to correct the valgus and lengthen her the fixator was removed in just 42 days now how does this work firstly we have to put the lrs pins posteriorly to the track of the nail then we use the angled entry jig we put the angled entry jig at an angle of 81 degrees so as to restore the normal aldfa after passing the rimmer where the rimmer hits the lateral cortex that is the first site of the osteotomy here in this case this is a picture of a varus so you translate the distal fragment medially you further take the rimmer and then you do the proximal corticotomy so as to gain the lengthening he is a young chartered accountant he had a distal femur procurvatum we did the distal extension osteotomy along with a proximal lengthening and the fixator was removed in just 48 days now when we have a huge procurvatum in the proximal fragment we can do the proximal entry now here after putting the lrs pins posteriorly we pass the rimmer from posterior to anterior direction so as to hit the anterior cortex of the femur where it hits that is the site of the first proximal corticotomy and then further pass it down distally do the extension osteotomy uh, do the supracondylar extension osteotomy and then lock the nail now here is an interesting case he is a young boy with olier's disease he had a severe shortening of 9.5 cm with a recurvatum in the right lower limb we lengthen the tibia we lengthen the femur we did a double level lengthening and eventually after 9 months he had after treatment he had excellent function now how does the nail help in all this business it acts as an intramedullary strut so once the lengthening process is over uh, you can remove the fixator and the bone consolidates over the nail this simply does not happen when you are lengthening using an elizaro or an lrs now comparing with an lop which is the lengthening over the plate the lengthening over the nail as we saw in the earlier slides it has the distinct advantage that we can simultaneously correct deformities this is simply not possible when we are lengthening it over a plate in our series we did have a fair share of complications this is one such we had uh, this guy was undergoing lengthening in the femur he went into premature consolidation we had to go in remove the femoral nail redo the corticotomy and then after renail it eventually he healed on and even fully another case of poliotic limb we did the distal extension osteotomy along with the proximal lengthening but after removing the fixator he went, went into severe knee stiffness we had to go in do a quadriceps plasty after which he has full function now we compared this series of lengthening over a nail in 42 patients with a similar case match series of lengthening over an external fixator that we were doing earlier we found that the femur efi the external fixation index was significantly less just 23 days when you lengthen over a nail so in conclusion i would like to end this with an interesting case that we did he is a radiologist from bangalore he had a proximal femur varus with a distal femoral valgus along with shortening so we put in the nail we did the two level corticotomy we lengthened both the segments we 
the amount of lengthening was dictated by the soft tissue tension in the limb. So here, as we can see in the second picture, the CD unit is in the proximal fragment, and in the third picture, the CD unit is in the distal fragment. After about five and a half months, we removed the fixator, and eventually it consolidated very well. Thank you.